Guys, welcome. This is our camera. And um, it's pretty late here. I'm a little scruffy. But I just found something so incredibly fascinating that I had to share with you guys. A lot of people already already been talking about it. It's nothing like brand new in terms of, you know, the media cycle. But I just signed up for it and I gave it a whirl and I found some very, very, very interesting things um, with uh, chat GPT. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, show you a couple of examples. I'm going to show you, uh, I'm, I think I'm going to separate into three videos. So one's going to be um, front end, one's going to be back end, and the other one's going to be database. Um, incredibly powerful, especially for junior developers, rapid prototyping, stuff like that. So let's take a look. Reset that. So let's start with the front end. Okay, so I'm going to do create a basic uh, functional component in React JSX. Okay, so we're just going to create a component right now in React JSX. So it should just be a function name, uh, function signature, returns div, hello world. <coughs> should be very basic. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some logic to it. All right, great, 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 great. So what we're going to do now is add some logic to it, right? So we're going to say add a button to the component uh, that increments by one every click. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add some logic to the components. Right. So, so this is a, a service, right? Now it's running on uh, OpenAI servers. So there is some um, inferencing latency and network latency here. So. All right, so we added state to the components, uh, added the uh, dependencies, the use state dependencies, the on-click um, 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 uh, function in there, boom, shakalaka. Okay, so now here's where I find it very fascinating. Convert to Microsoft Blazor. Right, so it's adding those. It's gonna add the, the functionality here. Very simple. Wow, I love it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna convert this into a bunch of different UI frameworks. All right, so let's say convert to Angular. Okay, all right. And it gives you this, uh, the uh, an explanation of what it's doing too, which is which is the most fascinating thing about it. It's it's effectively re removing tutors because it can describe accurately what it's doing. So we're gonna convert it to Angular. I misspelled, but it's smart enough to infer what I was trying to say. So it's not just a markup, but it's also passing in the logic as well. Beautiful, all right, very simple. All right, so let's say convert to vanilla JS. All right, so let's see, vanilla JS isn't actually a term. It's it's a bit it's more on the colloquial side. It's just what people call um, no framework JavaScript. So let's see if it's far enough to understand that context. So 
so we did um, React, we did uh, Blazor, we did Angular, now we're going to do J uh, Vanilla J uh, JS. Right. Vanilla JavaScript, okay. All right, so that's that's the React. All right, so let's see. Interesting. Oh, it looks like he's just embedding the components. <coughs> so it's not doing a, a straight conversion like it did earlier. So it didn't quite do the conversion as I expected. All right, that's fine. So let's do convert to Swift. Swift UI. All to GTK oh, that's a lot of detail let me think of another framework Um, and this is Svelte, that's another one. Oh, I just, uh, I just put a word in. I don't know, is it going to be smart enough to understand I'm trying to get a uh, conversion? nice okay and let's see let's see if it understands context and next for a windows application It's more enough to understand that context. Okay. Wow. 
Wow. That's just amazing. Alright. <coughs> I won't let it finish that promise. We get the idea. We can do it. What about Android? And you're going to give us the Java code to go with it. Okay, let's see. Let's see what you come up with. Wow, so we can create a, a functional component in React, JavaScript, JSX, and we can convert it to pretty much any UI framework with similar functionality. Uh, maybe the more complex it gets, it, it gets a little weird, but uh, at, a, at a base level, this, this allows for that. That's a crazy functionality. All right, so... This is gonna be the end of this video. I'm gonna go ahead and make two more videos with examples for the back end and uh, for the database. All right, bye for now.